I would practice separately arm and wrist. Really, it's a movement of the whole forearm. I'm also thinking of releasing tension from the center of my palm outwards. You only want to feel the impulse and the fingertip. Vibrato! It's undoubtedly one of the most important aspects of modern violin technique, and some might even say it's the soul of the violinist's sound. When it comes to the greatest violin sounds, one of the most important aspects you'll always think of is the vibrato. Think sharing. Menuhin. David Oistrach. And of course, no such list would be complete without Yasha Heifetz. However, there is a surprising amount of confusion concerning vibrato, which is odd considering just how important everyone believes it is. Should I use wrist vibrato? Arm vibrato? Or a combination of both. Thankfully, we have our incredible artist over at Tone Base to help us out. Tone Base has an incredible library of masterclasses taught by some of the greatest teachers and performers of our time. Covering everything from technique, like today's video on vibrato, or full-length classes from specific pieces of the major repertoire. To start your free trial, you can click in the upper right-hand corner, or see the link in the description. And now, on to the masters. What is vibrato? It's rhythmic bending of pitch downward. The top part of the vibrato, which is the in-tune note, and the bottom part of the vibrato, which is rolled back flat part of it. The way we accomplish that is by rolling the fingertip back and forth. The common way of vibrating is to put the in-tune note down first and then yank backwards. And you can roll it by using your hand motion, so-called wrist vibrato, arm motion, we call it arm vibrato, or a combination. Right, vibrato isn't kind of a back and forth even motion, it's an impulse. And I would practice separately arm and wrist. So you take a metronome, so you put your metronome at 60, you take your arm like this, you can put your you know, hand underneath the elbow, you rotate a little bit, relax, and then you go one and two and three and four and... When I think about vibrato, especially in the lower positions, in slow motion, I think about the movement of the vibrato actually coming from the bicep. If you can do this like 20 times in a row, completely even, without a single twitch, then you go up to 65, 70, and so forth, 75, 80, 90, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. If the fingers are completely relaxed here, almost loosey-goosey... We can really find a place of relaxation in vibrato. We want vibrato to feel as relaxed as possible. And it should feel completely relaxed and completely even. And a good test is if you go to a wall and you can knock absolutely even, even speed, even strength, with no effort. If I put my finger in the backward position of the, of the vibrato and flick it forward towards my face, it rebounds and goes right back to where it came from. If I put the finger on the in-tune position and yank it backwards, there's nothing there. So therefore, the impulse to vibrate starts from the behind position of the vibrato. I'm also thinking of releasing tension from the center of my palm outwards. And I think that helps me access a sharing-like sound versus the intensity of Heifetz. Definitely a faster and leaner vibrato. I'm not deliberately saying, okay, wider, narrower, faster, you know, all, all these things. I'm trying to listen to Sharing's vibrato and feel kind of the mode of the vibrato. The moment that you prepare to vibrate on each note, that's where you can attach your emotional feeling. A wide vibrato, prepare wide. A little tiny one, prepare tiny. Happy one, sad one. There's a kind of vibrato that almost feels like it's happening in your gut.
And this is how, if you listen to great singers, I'm talking Joan Sutherland, of course, Pavarotti. Vibrato is a natural expression of the body's vibration. How do we find that sound? This position, there is no way you can vi vibrate holding the finger, third finger like this. Oh. Well, you are doing wrist vibrato yeah. right now. So that's the thing. Which I, I don't. Most of the successful violinists who vibrate musically and with a lot of variety, the engine of the vibrato is the wrist. Are you talking about specifically for arm vibrato or does this also apply to... Well, no, I, uh, in general, I don't use wrist, yeah. the wrist vibrato at all. Yeah. Uh, some great violinists who do it have a combination of the hand and wrist, but very few great violinists uh, vibrate with the arm. And, and my experience is that they do have vibrato issues. Because wrist is too slow and too wobbly. When you move your wrist, mm -hmm. first of all, the intonation suffers. It seldom sounds good. The best vibrato is when you don't think of vibrating. You, everybody knows, oh, he's vibrating. We don't want a sound where you're noticing vibrato. If somebody walks away from your concert saying, wow, what a vibrato, I'm not sure you did everything you could. And my other teacher, Shandor Vaig, said, if you compliment me on my vibrato, I'll be very unhappy. <laughs> 